spiritual messages and versions from the higher being and discuss it afterwards. So consider that you are listening to uh, messages from, from listen to a divine message and they contain information about being soul conscious. Body consciousness will now serve you. You will use the many arms of body consciousness for service, will you not? With the strength of 10 arms, body consciousness will very quickly prepare the most beautiful kingdom for you. Now this body consciousness will no longer be able to rule you, but he has to prepare a kingdom and give it to you. When a task has to be accomplished, it is said you have to complete this task with the force of your ten fingernails. So, the five elements of nature and the five vices will be converted into the form of five special divine virtues and they will all come to serve you. And you will then thank them, will you not? Body conscious is when we think about ourselves as a body and forget that we are soul. Every single uh, person in this world is a soul playing their part through his body. But when we consider our to be a soul, we forget this deep knowledge of being a soul. And for a long, long time, we have been considering ourselves to be a soul. But now it's time to consider ourselves to be a soul, not a body. So I am a soul playing this part through this body. And body consciousness is something that we have been bowing down to for a long time by constantly chasing after things to decorate this body and uh, serving the body or allowing the body to pull us here and there and everywhere. But when we start to meditate, be in connection with the higher being and understanding deeply and completely that I am a soul, these weaknesses that uh, are connected to body consciousness will turn into a spiritual power. It will become a power and strength. And when I when I've gained the spiritual power and strength, it become like a tool for me or weapon for me on this spiritual journey. So it create a lot of strength, a lot of power, and will serve me. Like I said in the message, it I will gain self sovereign sovereignty, and uh, I will be able to face adverse situations because I know that uh, nothing is really going to happen to the soul. Whatever is going on, when I'm in deep soul consciousness, I don't sulk because usually when I get upset or I feel. Uh, defended or something it is because something is said about the body so uh, this uh, body consciousness uh, contain uh, anger uh, lust greed uh, attachment and ego and when I'm soul conscious completely soul conscious aware of I'm a soul then I drop these identities to be a body and I don't have to get upset anymore, afraid or take sorrow. 
so it will turn into spiritual power and a lot of strength. And this happens gradually while we meditate and connect with the Supreme Soul. And with this connection with God, we are purifying. The soul is becoming pure and, and purifying ourselves with this connection with the Supreme Soul. And that gives us power to be in soul consciousness. And it's a journey, it's a journey, and it's an entertaining journey, because there's always no uh, plenty of test papers uh, that comes up in daily life. And being with the Supreme Soul, uh, remind me, Salvon, that I am a soul, and I don't need to go into these situations and take power from the Supreme Soul. And stay on the spiritual journey as a strong individual, elevated and happy. Uh, when the level of purity rises, uh, the, the soul will be able to uh, purify the elements. And by sending good wishes and pure feelings to the elements, uh, we are creating relationship with the elements. And when we have created relationship, good relationship with someone or something, that is not going to harm us. So by serving the world, serving the elements, sending good wishes and paying respect to the elements, we, have cre we create this beautiful relationship and that create some kind of safety in adverse situations where the elements are playing up or making upheaval. So that is like a mansa seva, we are serving through the mind, sending vibrations, and these vibrations connect to the elements and make them our friends. Now we will we'll listen to another version. This whole group is of those who are constantly having pure and positive thoughts and who have stopped having waste thoughts about others. Whenever any challenging situation arises, remember the gift you have been given of the jewel of constantly having pure and positive thoughts. Then powerful vibrations, powerful service, and a gathering of angels will constantly be seen in the country. This gathering is very good. You also have great enthusiasm for service. Everyone does service, but service becomes successful when that service is in a form that has no obstacles of any personality traits or thoughts. It is these things that make service take a long time to grow. Therefore, become a server who is constantly free from obstacles. When you are very enthusiastic, to do service, you can go anywhere. Do everything whilst considering it to be your service. Do not think that this is a service of a country or that this is a service of another country. No. World service is your service. This is called having an unlimited attitude. You do have an unlimited attitude, do you not? Wherever you go, everything belongs to you. You are world benefactors, not just benefactors of a country or of the places close to a country. When we have a lot of wished thoughts, we 
drain ourselves, we lose power because waste thoughts don't lead to anything. They are just habitual thoughts that we think about others or think about uh, things that we have has nothing to do with us. How other people behave or how they dress or what they do or spend their time or spend their money. And here we are advised to let go of waste thoughts and serve the souls of the world. And serving souls of the world is done through the both through words and through thoughts. Uh, serving through the words is to give the knowledge that uh, we have learned in Brahma Kumaris. And we are spreading this knowledge to those who are interested to hear this knowledge. But the powerful service is service through the mind. And that is to serve every single soul in the world have a good wishes and pure feeling towards every single soul in the world and when we are talking about unlimited attitude, unlimited uh, disinterest and, uh, and having unlimited attitude is unlimited attitude is to understand that everyone are souls and doesn't matter the nationality uh, the gender, the color of the skin, uh, uh, religion, profession, we are all the same. We are just souls and having good wishes and pure feeling and sending uplifting vibrations to everyone, whether they are rich or poor or uh, in jail or whatever they are doing. Sending good wishes to everyone is a very, very deep and good service. And that is our job. That is God's job and that is our job. Those who want to uh, help on the task to serve the world uh, need to understand who the Father is, who God is and understand what they are what, what pure wishes and pure good feelings are and understand that yes. we are exactly as the supreme soul. So seeing the whole world as a family and don't take a law into our hands, just accept what is happening. Uh, not try to control, try to rule, just to rule over myself, be self-sovereign and be independent, not dependent on others, not dependent on, on, on facilities. Just understand yourself to be a soul. Very beautiful. Um image of being soul conscious and uh, also to have uh, an attitude of unlimited uh, belonging. Everyone belongs to you and um, you also belong to the world and not only to one country. And to add uh, to that the image of uh, being the right hand, uh, whatever you have described, um, can be summarized in being the right hand of the Supreme Soul in this task of making a better world. So would you like to be this right hand? And what can you do with the right hand? And um, you can uh, always uh, do auspicious tasks. And one auspicious task, um, if you can see this image, is a task of holding the globe in your hand. Um, and uh, it's also beautiful that not only one holds it, but several of us together. That is a purpose of the gathering of angels to hold the globe and to serve the whole planet, the whole world. And someone who has that attitude of serving the world their thoughts and their feelings will align with the highest thoughts of the Supreme Soul. 
you would uh, naturally follow uh, the directions of the Supreme Soul. And uh, another aspect would be that um, you naturally have a balance between love and law. It is not possible to have that unlimited attitude of service unless you have a balance between how much you love others, but you also how much do you help them to, to maintain the law, the spiritual law. So uh, in uh, this way, uh, being able to remove your defects, your weaknesses, uh, being the one that uh, is uh, free from body consciousness, um, you are uh, becoming uh, uh, a servant of the world. And uh, there are uh, many blessings. There are um, silent uh, thanks coming from all the other souls. Would you like to suggest a practice for uh, today? Yeah, I would like to do that. I think good practice today is to think about the elements as your friend and seeing and think about sending good vibrations to all the souls in the world and wish them well and wish them peace. It's a very simple practice. But think, do it like a, if you can do it every hour. And in the beginning of every hour, have this little thought for one minute of elements are your friends and the whole world family is your family and you want them to live in peace. Thank you. We'll meet again tomorrow. <laughs>